Hello everyone, this is Anikhet and this video is about the new element named info banner in which we can display call to action elements and we can actually highlight various features or products on the home page or on the main landing pages on your websites. So let us have a look what the element looks like. So this is how the info banner looks like. I have several designs made to demonstrate the variations. In this we have a title, a description and a button that will be the main call to action your visitors will see. And then we have certain variations in which you can use this image in different manners. These are all PNG images. You can also use JPEG image in which you can apply these effects as shown on the screen. Now let's go into the back end and check out the options. Now here you can add the info banner as usual by clicking on add element info banner and that will give you the set of properties will go a little slow on the properties as it has large number of options so we have general image design button and typography tabs let's start with general we have a title and description that you saw like this is the title this is the description then we have the button text the text that you would like to see on the button the link for the button, information alignment, all these fields would be aligned to either center, left or right. Then the animation effect, this effect can be seen when the page loads. So as soon as the page loads, an animation is seen. Let's move. To the design tab and not the image tab will come down to image tab later in the design tab we have the banner minimum height you can set a minimum value for the banner height when we had launched interactive banner 1 and 2 we received requests from users that they don't have any control over the heights of adjacent rows so we have fixed this issue for info banners now please note that this is just the minimum height that would be fixed. Maximum height would depend on the content used within. If due to the content the adjacent banners differ in height, you can increase the minimum height of the banner having less content to match up with the another one. In this way you can have a control over the heights of adjacent banners and there won't be any problem of height mismatches even if you're using them on different type of devices moving ahead we have the background color the color that you see here you can choose a border solid dashed for the box which will give you another options like border width and border color to which you are quite familiar then in the next tab we have button you can choose the color of the button the color you choose here will be seen for the border when the mouse is not hovered on them and here is the text hover color once the mouse is hovered the color that you would want to see for the text you can select it here and this is the normal text color which will be shown on the button when the mouse is not hovered then we have border width the, this border for the button by default the button will have a transparent background color and when the mouse is hovered this color would be applied for the background then we have border radius which will make the corners rounded lesser the radius 
the button will be rectangular and as you increase the border radius it will go circular and the last tab is the typography tab which will let you choose different fonts for the title description as well as the button text so here we got font settings for title font settings for description as well as for the button for the button the line height will decide the size of the button like the line height you would provide here that height will be shown in between the text and the border of the button now moving back to the image tab you can select an image that can be a PNG or a JPEG image like this these many options are there for alignments top left top center here I have aligned all the images to bottom right this is top right you can choose what fits best for your needs then we have an effect over here when the mouse is hovered on the image it will slide up slide left like the one you see here when the mouse is hovered different effects can be seen for the images and overlay color on the image like you can see here a blue shade a red shade and a greenish yellow shade is applied here as an overlay color you can also decide the transparency level for the color now here we have the image height I'll show you different media queries which are nothing but the ranges of width in which different CSS files are applied so depending on that you can decide the heights for your images that you are you gonna use all you gotta do is insert a value in pixels which should be the height for your image for different devices so for example for last screen you want your image height to be 500 pixel so you can directly enter 500 into the last screen tab now the size of your image will remain 500 pixel unless and until you have entered a smaller size for the next smaller device for say tablet you have entered 300 pixel so accordingly the image sizes will reduce as your device screen sizes are reducing and if you enter 0 for a particular device the image will automatically vanish like you can see on screen which brings us back to the media queries so now depending upon these may, uh, these ranges you can actually control the sizes of images you would want to see on different devices so basically image width depends on the height you enter and the overflowing image will be hidden in the case where the image size is larger than the larger screen itself in this way we are done with all the options of info banner I hope the tutorial was helpful for you if still there are things to clear you can always post your questions in the comments below thanks for watching